In this video, we will discuss how to use the prefix and suffix of the function groups in order to write the IUPAC nomenclature of organic compounds. For priority order of the function groups, please visit our previous video. So let us take another example. Here, again we have a 3 carbon chain with two functional groups. One is the carboxylic acid and second is the amine. And as we know the functional group priority should be given more to the carboxylic acid than the amine. So we will start the numbering from the carboxylic acid. So that is 1 and 2 and 3. Now base name is the propane where we have to replace the E with the whatever the suffix for the carboxylic acid. That is the E should be replaced with the oic acid. So now it is propane minus E plus oic acid that is a propanoic acid is the root name for this compound now amine group is present at the third position so 3 amino so the complete name of this compound is 3 amino plus propanoic acid that is 3 amino propanoic acid now let us go to the another example here again two function groups are present one is a carboxylic acid and there is a sulfonic acid both are the acidic substances Again, carboxylic acid should be given more preference than the sulfonic acid. So again, we'll start the numbering 1 and 2. So here, only two carbons are there. Now, the root name is ethane minus E plus oic acid, that is a ethanoic acid. And now, the side chain sulfonic acid is present at the second position and it can be denoted by the prefix 2 sulfo. Now the complete name of this compound is 2 sulfo plus ethanoic acid that is the 2 sulfo ethanoic acid. Commonly it can also be called as 2 sulfo acetic acid because the 2 carbon carboxylic acid is called as acetic acid. Now in this example you can again find the two functional groups. One is the carboxylic acid and another one is the aldehyde. Again carboxylic acid should be given first preference. So 1, 2, 3. 3 and 4. Here one of the important thing you have to consider is that the carbon of the aldehyde is not treated as a side chain, it is involved in the chain. So we are counting the what are the carbon of aldehyde also in the parent chain. So now the prefix for the aldehyde is 4 oxo. Therefore we can construct the name like 4 oxo plus and the chain is the 4 carbon carboxylic acid that is the butanoic acid. So 4 oxo butanoic acid is the name for this compound. Let us take another example by just by comparing the previous one. In this three function groups are present two carboxylic acid groups and one aldehydic function group. Again the preference is given to the carboxylic acid and we can start the numbering from one direction which gives the least position to the locand that is a aldehyde so one two three and four if you give from the other direction aldehyde group will get the third position so which is uh, not preferred so this is the preferred way of uh, giving the numbering now the aldehyde is present as a side chain so now it is denoted by the prefix uh, two for mine you can easily identify that the aldehyde can have the two prefixes and they can be used according to the situation. When the aldehyde carbon is involved in the parent chain, the aldehyde function group is denoted by oxo. And when this carbon is out of the parent chain, then it is indicated by formide. So in the second case, aldehyde carbon is not involved in the parent chain, so it is indicated as 2 formide. So the name of this compound is 2 formide plus Butane dioic acid, so 2 formyl butane dioic acid is the complete name for this compound. Finally, we will take another example here. Here you can identify one of the functional group is the hydrazide. Hydrazide is a the attachment of NH NH2 to the carbonyl group that is called hydrazide. And another functional group is the hydroxyl group or OH group. Now hydrazide should be given the preference, so we will start the numbering from that carbon, 1, 2 and 3. 
so the name of this compound is propane plus hydrazide is equal to propane hydrazide so here you can observe that we have written the e for convenience at few of these suffixes we will not remove the e and we will retain for example in case of dioic acid we will retain the e and similarly here hydrazide we retain the e so simply it is propane hydrazide now you can identify the hydroxyl group is present in the second position so 2 hydroxy so the complete name of this compound is 2 hydroxy plus propane hydrazide that is 2 hydroxy propane hydrazide 